according to a press briefing given by Russian Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov to foreign military attaches in December 2019, Russian armed forces have replaced the broken Oko missile strike early warning group of satellites with satellites from the Kupol system and it is currently active. The TASS news agency reports that in his presentation Gerasimov showed slides of the structures of Russia's missile early warning system. A satellite was also shown with the inscription KAEKS Kupol. That is space apparatus of the United Space System Kupol. Gerasimov had stated that another EKS satellite had been launched, which increased Russia's ability to detect ballistic missile launches. The Russian Defense Ministry stated previously that the satellite of the new system has been named Tundra. Viewers may note that the first satellite of the system was launched in 2015. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russia plans to defend itself from incoming missiles with Kupol Early Warning System and A-135 missile defense. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by free-to-play game World of Tanks. It is one of the most well-designed tank games in the world which can be played on PC. The game has huge tank arsenal which consists of tank destroyers, artillery, light, medium and heavy tanks. The game has authentic models and vehicle characteristics as well as focuses on a realistic combat scenarios. You can fight battles, cross open fields, climb steep hills, sneak through forests, tear across deserts and in urban industrial zones. There are over 550 tanks and 40 battle arenas. World of Tanks has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus which will grant you 7 premium days, 500 gold, a premium tank Soviet T-127 if you are registering for the first time. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and use the code TANKTASTIC to get your bonus. Take the plunge and join more than 100 million players who share the same passion as you. Advanced militaries are developing and deploying a missile defense system. The idea is to knock out incoming enemy's missiles with its own interceptor missile. It is like hitting a bullet with another bullet. Any system like this will need components that will continuously track the enemy missile the moment it is launched. A ground-based radar can't see a missile launch from a distant territory and this is where a space-based system is required that can provide early warning. These satellites identify ballistic missile launches from outer space and provide this information to radar stations on the ground. This prior info can help the ground-based radars have a high-level idea of where to look for the incoming projectile. So basically, the satellites and ground-based radars complement each other and together feed the trajectory of the incoming missile to other components of missile defense systems. Russia has a-135 missile defense system that protects Moscow, as well as several other missile defense and counterattack resources. EKS is designed as a replacement for the current system of early warning satellites called OCO, which had its first launch in 1972 and was described in 2005 as hopelessly outdated. OCO has two types of satellites. US KMO are in geosynchronous orbits and have an infrared telescope to identify ballistic missile launches. US K are in Molniya orbits and are an earlier model with optical telescopes and infrared sensors. The OCO system is made up of eight satellites. The OCO system has two control centers, with the main one being Serpikov 15 outside Moscow. OCO is part of the main center for missile attack warning which is under the Space Command KK, of the Russian Aerospace Defense Forces. In 2014, Commerçant published that the first satellite of a type named Tundra would be launched in 2014. According to that report, they would operate on highly elliptical orbits. The satellite was not launched in 2014, however. It was eventually launched from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome on the 17th of November 2015 using a Soyuz 2.1B rocket with a frigate stage, under the name EKS-1 or Tundra-11L. 
The new group now consists of three satellites, including one launched this year. By 2022, Russia expects to launch a total of nine new satellites. The A-135 is a Russian anti-ballistic missile system deployed around Moscow to intercept incoming warheads targeting the city or its surrounding areas. A memo from the archives of Vitaly Leonidovich Katev, written around 1985, had envisaged that the system will be completed in 1987 to provide protection from a strike of one to two modern and prospective ICBMs and up to 35 Pershing II type intermediate range missiles. It's to be noted that Pershing II was an American medium range ballistic missile of that era. A-135 is a successor to the previous A-35 and complies with the 1972 Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty. The system is operated by the 9th Division of Anti-Missile Defense, part of the Air Defense and Missile Defense Command of the Russian Aerospace Defense Forces. The A-135 system attained alert operational status on February 17, 1995. A-135 consists of the Don-2N battle management radar and two types of anti-ballistic missiles. It gets its data from the wider Russian early warning radar network that's sent to the command center, which then forwards tracking data to the Don-2N radar. The Don-2N radar is a large battle management phased array radar with a 360-degree coverage. A-135 has two types of interceptor components, 68 active launchers of short-range 53TS endoatmospheric interceptor nuclear-tipped missiles, 12 or 16 missiles each, deployed at five launch sites, and 16 launchers of long-range 51TS exoatmospheric interceptor nuclear-tipped missiles, eight missiles each, are located at two launch sites. The long-range 51TS interceptor was deactivated in February 2007 and is expected to be replaced by a newer missile, PRS-1M, soon. Russia last year claimed it had successfully test-launched a new hypersonic interceptor missile system with a precision unmatched by any other country. According to a tweet from the Russian Ministry of Defense, the reported launch took place at Sari Shagan, an anti-ballistic missile testing range in Kazakhstan. The tweet included a video of the test launch, which showed the missile being launched from the site. Anyone used to watching a missile launch will find this missile launch especially interesting since it seems incredibly fast. The MOD only indicated that the weapon successfully struck the designated dummy target. As per reports, the Russian military conducted the first test ever of the PRS-1M interceptor in November 2017 from Kazakhstan and the second one on February 12, 2018 from the same location. The PRS-1M is estimated to have a range of 2,000 kilometers or 1,250 miles, which is similar to its predecessor. As stated in an article by Gazeta.ru, which was analyzing the missile, the new product's kill zone is practically one and a half times greater in terms of altitude and range. It added, interception of enemy ICBM warheads is now assured at an altitude substantially higher than 50 kilometers, 31 miles. The missile carries a nuclear warhead of several kilotons. Missile defense is one of the most technologically challenging quests and it requires detection as well as interception systems to work perfectly in tandem. Only a few nations have this type of capability. The U.S. has been investing a significant amount of effort in developing anti-missile defense systems. One of these is GMD, or Ground-Based Mid-Course Defense, which is designed with an aim to protect against incoming missiles by engaging them during the mid-course phase of ballistic trajectory flight in space. The missile is designed to protect the U.S. mainland. GMD is the only system that's available to the U.S. military which can intercept intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM. In 2019, America's ground-based interceptor GBI, from the ground-based mid-course defense system 
has successfully destroyed an intercontinental ballistic missile in a test. When it comes to strategic equilibrium and deterrence, it is paramount that Russia fields a well-equipped ballistic missile defense. This is especially true since on the 2nd of August 2019, one of the most important arms control treaties, the INF Treaty, formally expired. Russia is lagging behind the U.S. when it comes to early warning satellites. The new satellite deployment is a way to mitigate the issue and will be a good complement to the PRS-1M interceptor. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.